And I don't want to show off, but I uh, married a British girl, so woo, yeah, passport. And uh, pretty happy with that. But we've been together for 16 years, and she still takes the piss out of my accent. Because in New Zealand, we say the words bear, bear, and bear all the same. That's a punch bear, I can't bear that, and holy shit, that's a grizzly bear. Bear, 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 all the same. Whereas you guys faff around trying to make them all sound different. Bear, 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 bear. Or, or if you're in Weatherspoons, bear! <laughs> Fucking bear, 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 job done. And my wife said to me, but how do I know which bear you're talking about? And I said, well, it's all about context. If I'm running and I'm screaming the word bear, obviously it's last orders at the bar. <laughs> All about context, everybody. All about context. Calm down, mate. Did you just kick your drink? I didn't understand a fucking word of that. All I heard then was, I thought about it, you know, it's hard to be. Please tell me you do the announcements down at the train stations, because I just said, <laughs> Delayed. It's fucking good for you, mate. Um, are you a fact guy? Do you like fun facts? Are you a fact guy? Do you like? A, do you want a fucking fun fact? Are you a fun fact guy? Because you know what? I've got five of the bastards. Yeah, five, five fucking fun facts. Start off with fact number one. Mind you, Aurelia, it's Mercedes, isn't it? So, thank you, thank you. Fact number one, mate. Fact number one. Uh, I picked it up from a podcast uh, called Detective, where they interview American homicide detectives. And this is the fact. When a uh, homicide detective shows up to a murder scene and the victim is dead, they're in the right place. Uh, but if that person's legs are crossed at the ankles, it means that person died on their feet. They died before hitting the ground. And when that happens, the body naturally, when it falls, just crosses its legs at the ankles and they don't know why. What a fucking fact, mate! How am I ever going to find that useful? When am I ever going to get to use that? Well, maybe one day I'm walking down the street and someone shouts out, Oh my God, this man's collapsed! Call an ambulance! And I'm like, wait! Are his legs crossed at the ankles? They are! Don't call an ambulance, call a mortician! That man is dead! And everyone else is like, chill out, it's a yoga class, dickhead. <laughs> Fact number two. <laughs> yeah, it's about Sweden. Have we got any Swedish people in? It's okay, we can carry on, it's fine. Sweden, Sweden was neutral during World War II. Sweden was saying to the rest of the world, we're not getting involved in fighting, we're too busy building IKEA. It's totally how they sound. Uh, and, but what they did do was they manufactured a lot of weapons and sold them to the uh, Allies, and one of the main guns they sold to the British Army was the Beaufort's anti-aircraft cannon. And that explains why you guys got so fucked up early on in the war with the German bombing raids because the Swedes sent you the anti-aircraft cannon as flat pack. Um, the Germans are coming! Where's the Allen key? Where the fuck is the Allen key? I can't follow these instructions, there's no words, it's just a shitly drawn man with a hammer! So that's a World War II Ikea joke. Don't know what you guys were coming out for tonight, but uh, if it was those two things coming together as a joke, then what a fucking night for you. Fact number three. Got your nose. <laughs> You'll like this one, mate. It's about the menopause. Uh, so, there's three mammals on the planet that go through the menopause. Humans, short-finned pilot whale, and killer whales. Yeah, as if killer whales weren't scary enough. Now you could encounter one having hot flashes. No wonder SeaWorld's closing down. You don't want to do tricks or jump through hoops if you're suffering from vaginal dryness. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of menopause, ladies, how bullshit is it that something so specific to a woman, something unique to a woman that only a woman goes through, has got men in the title? Fuck the patriarchy! That is bullshit! They've got nothing to do with it! Menopause should be called ladyopause. <laughs> Not to be confused with labia pause. We all know is when a cat is born with a labia instead of paws. <laughs> and that is a cat that enjoys running over different textured surfaces. <laughs> labia is a bit of a lady's bit, down there. When a cat's got his paws. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you know when they get on your lap and they do that thing? And they the cat's orgasming while they do <laughs> That's why they lick their paws so much, man. 
Fact number four. Number four. Fact number four. There's no soap in the men's toilets. That is a true fact. Someone should genuinely sort that out. Um, touch toilet seats and everything in there. So, uh, anyway, have a good night. Um, now, fact number four is, uh, is about Canadian wine. I hope you guys can fucking handle it. It's pretty full on. But you didn't even know Canada had a wine industry. But I've got a great wine industry. And the Canadian wine industry's taken a real boost recently because America's relaxed its import policies towards Canadian wine. Oh, they're slapping tariffs on everything else. But Canadian wine, they're like, get it in here! So what's happening now is Mexicans are disguising themselves as bottles of Canadian wine to get into the United States of America. They've got a name for it. They're calling it an illegal Bordeaux crossing. You're welcome. Namaste. Namaste fucking stay.